I'm Yvette. This is my husband, Dale. I'm Australian. He's American. I still have this. Uh, what I want to do is try out a whole bunch of Australian treats from the Australian shop. Super excited to open this up. Um, I know I love everything in here, so we're going to see what Dale thinks about it. Uh, well, today is a good day to do it because the weather is snowy and windy outside and it is the total opposite back home, so... Minus 12.8 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And what is it in Perth right now? What is 73 Fahrenheit converted to Celsius? That's beautiful. Yeah, and it sucks here. Okay, well we'll just harness that feeling. Okay. Do you want to do the honors? Oh no, it's your... Okay. Go hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was a fail. That's why I was using scissors, because I wanted to get through this. Okay, you might have to like combine efforts then? Yeah. these burger rings you've talked about them enough of course i have <laughs> burger rings oh okay i'll talk more about them i'm just going to go through what we have at the moment though so we have two small packets of smith salt and vinegar chippies so there's like what generic version of funyuns there these no these are cheesels cheesels I guess maybe probably the closest thing here would be maybe Cheetos and I'll show you how you're meant to eat these. There's a certain way you need to eat them. So, all right, what do we have wrapped up in all this bubble wrap? I'm gonna need those scissors again. Where are they? Ooh. We have a violet crumble. Delicious. Not violent crumble. Oh, no, I'm used to that. Um, <laughs> that looks kind of familiar from one of our trips. Yeah, so Dale actually has been to Australia, to Perth, where I'm from, several times. So some of these things he might have tried. I can't remember exactly what he's tried and what he hasn't, but I'm sure he'll let me know. He's definitely tried some Alan's lollies, Snakes Alive. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah, buddy. So much no. It's a squeezy one too, so you can just oh, straight so the up. Oh, flavor change? You can just straight in there. <laughs> no, it's just Dale Allen. Okay, so we have a little zippy bag of fantails and flake. Do you have flake here? And you don't have fantails? We'll talk more about them. We'll get there. And of course, barbecue shapes. I've had I know I've had shapes, I just can't think of them, but I know I've had those. You've definitely had barbecue shapes. Tim Tams? There are Tim Tams. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Surely a lot of people know. <laughs> I'll just take those one for you. <laughs> there you go. Very excited oh, about those. Oh, Tim Tams. And there's something else that I don't actually think you've had, but I really think you'll like. So. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. So this is when this <laughs> comes into play. Because these things are awesome. So these are Arnott's Mint Slice. So Arnott's also make Tim Tams. Um, they make a whole bunch of different kind of biscuits. Which, good. what would you call it? You, you'd say cookies, I guess? It's like the Girl Scout cookies, like Thin Mints. Is yeah. This is already one of these. Mm. In case you didn't know, Australians like to drink. What do you want to start with first? I'm going to let you choose. Oh, Tim Tams. No, <laughs> we're not even, okay, <laughs> no. That'll just be a treat at the end because we know you like Tim Tams. Okay, I'll just set these over with my stuff. <laughs> I'm never gonna see this again. I actually have a friend in Arizona and she will go to World Market because where we are, we're in Terre Haute, Indiana. We don't have a lot of international supermarkets. I love anything, stuff. it's Indiana. No. Yeah. So she sometimes comes across them in World Market and I know I have a package on the way. Um, so I'm excited about that. So I don't mind sharing these ones with you. Hmm. So what do you want to try first? I'll try the salt and vinegar chips because I've had I want to say we have salt and vinegar chips here. It's like an American thing anyway. And I don't care for them here that much. Mm. So we'll try them. Okay. They have also chicken flavor. Do you do chicken flavor chips here? No. 
Yeah, so they will do, I'm pretty sure it's a green packet. It's been a long time since I've been home, even for a visit, and I haven't lived in Australia since like 2014. So I'll let you open it and try the first one. I see they already like, you know, no, like the four chips in here, so they package it like American chips are. <laughs> it's a, it's strong. Not like what I expected. Okay. Yours? Thanks. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> You ready? Cheers. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that much different than ours. I think these are probably a little bit better, actually. I think, personally, there's less of a lingering vinegar flavor, which I think mm -hmm. is why you like probably like them more, maybe. Can you stop? They're my favorite. Can I have another one? <laughs> Thanks. Let me just um, cleanse your palate with some wine. Okay, we don't have flake. Let's try flake out. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Do you want to go between like salty sweet? Mm -hmm. sure. All right. So we've got Cadbury flake. Cadbury, I do like them. So these are obviously mini sizes. If you were going to get from from the store, they'd have like a flake like this size. Okay. Things. You have to get. <laughs> yeah, it's so, flake. It actually Literally flakes, flake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Yeah. And then you always have you this is the see that? I'm gonna show you this is the best part, like when you're a kid, if you can see it in there. Oh my god, I don't want to tip it. Yes! And those bits, and then you do this. Mm. Oh you do, do you? Yeah. Just like that. That's what it, like the it, like you're scraping what's left in the you know the, the bin, the cheddar there, the chocolate in, and oh, it's just like dropping shit everywhere. Just falling off. Mm. Anyway, just eat it. Oh crap. Mm-hmm. Messy eating, but good eating. Aw, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the scraps. <laughs> chocolate, I'm not gonna share. That's true. No hair, George. No, you have it, there's more in here. I feel like Cadbury chocolate, but this is kinda like eh. Really? Is it just because it's plain? Maybe. It's just like plain chocolate? Mm. I'm still gonna. It's chocolate, just eat it, it's good. It's all chocolate. Yeah. It's all good chocolate. Let's just. Yeah, this is another Chucky, and it's Allen's. The reason it's called Fantails is because of what's actually on the wrapper. I'll show you a little bit closer there. So it's always about uh, like a celebrity or, or something like that. I'll read it out once we open it up. It tastes like bubble gum here. It usually does that. We have. Mm. UPS. Did you order anything? No, well, I'm sure you did that. No, I'm not expecting anything actually. Cheers. Oh, it's hard. I should put it in my brow for a minute to soften it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Checking for cavities. <laughs> yeah. I thought you know if you have one. What is this like? I like when they're a bit warmer, to be honest. Like, they're a lot softer. Because mm -hmm. the scent is like a caramel. Like a. <laughs> like glue? Yeah. <laughs> it's good though. It's good. Your little tail, your little fan tail. Not focusing, but. Whatever. Those don't change focus. Oh. The set over listens. That sucks. I'm gonna read this to you. <laughs> to you. Okay. So, to who am I? Born in 1962, he's an American actor, comedian, writer, and voice artist. He studied improv at Chicago's Second City along with Stephen Colbert, 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 and Tina Fey, which landed him a five year stint on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. He found greater fame in the late 2000s for playing Michael Scott of the American version of The Office. He's also starred in lead roles in the films Evan Almighty, 40 Year Old Virgin, Little Miss Sunshine, and Command 1 and 2, as well as voicing Gru in the Despicable Me series. I don't know that. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Pharrell. Is she Pharrell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, here, I'll go one for you then. Okay. Born in California in 67. Mm. He used to make his school's daily morning announcements over the public address system in various character voices. His father, Lee, 
was a longtime keyboardist and saxophonist for the Righteous Brothers. He first established himself as a cast member of Saturday Night Live and has subsequently starred in the comedy films Step Brothers, Land of the Lost, The Other Guys, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. He is also the first guest to appear on this night show with Conan O'Brien. Will Ferrell? Mm -hmm. So um, this is something I used to do as a kid. Did you try and tear it and make it the strip as long as possible? I'm old and I don't remember back that far. Aw, you're not that old. You can still pull young chicks. <laughs> okay, do you want to try it? Let's do a little competition. I totally would have won. That's what happens. Now when you look at what a pro can achieve, look at this. And you would compare them and see who could get the longest. That was just a thing. I think it was a thing. Let me know if it was a thing. What do you want to try next? Burger rings. Burger rings. That looks fun. There's a guy outside plowing the... Plowing? Plowing? <laughs> <laughs> plowing the sidewalk and it looks like fun. This one you say you put them on these, you put these no, on No, like that was cheesels that you would put on your fingers. I was like, there's no one, I mean. But, um, yeah, but this like is. Like that wasn't even going my yeah, pinky. Yeah, Dale, because it's for Australian people, we're more petite than Americans. No offense. But you can still do this. It's almost like a barbecue funion, I guess. I don't know how to put it. The crunch. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they're delicious. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's the next one. <laughs> no. Put them down. Okay. Violet crumble. So, there you go. The slogan. It's the way it shatters that matters. So this is another one that's going to be like messy eating, like a flake. Mm, chop coated honeycomb. Delicious. Yeah, just one big bar? It is one big bar, yeah. <clears throat> Break it? No, just... <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, interesting. Interesting? Like mm, yeah. Me, please. Mm -hmm. yep, Aww. What? On the back it says, helping save the orangutans habit. Hab habit. 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 <laughs> they have a habit for these things, do they? <laughs> Just feeding their addiction. Yes. <laughs> oh, let me see it on there. See? Fingerlicious fun. That's how you have to eat it. Even the little dude on the bottom of the corner of the bag is, you know, displaying the, uh... He is a chisel with a chisel on his finger. So he's kind of a cannibal. Just kind of dark. Way to ruin beautiful childhood memories. Again. <laughs> it's bigger than the burger rings. And look, wait, you meant to do all of them. Here, let's just devour this packet. Baby, will you marry me? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Yeah, definitely that cheddar smell. This is how you have to eat it. Mm -hmm. Cheetos? Maybe like a fun little road trip snack. Like. Mm hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. They usually come in like a cardboard box though. Like that tall. No way. Empty it on a road trip. Nice. Because you, you can drive. <laughs> and just. <laughs> Not a manual. <laughs> Standard, whatever you call it over there. We got manual. Okay. Yeah, you can. Keep it in this ham. Drive with that ham. Oh my god, I'm on the wrong side oh of the no. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been here too long. Mum, I'm so sorry. 
I need a trip home so bad. Thing. Screw coronavirus. Hmm? These are fun. Oh. Okay. Mm. Delicious. Okay, what's next? Two minute slice. All right. On its mint slice. What does it say on here? Crunchy biscuit, velvety mint cream, and Arnott's real chocolate made from the finest cocoa ingredients and natural milk products. Carefully combined to create your perfect indulgence. Arnott's chocolate never is going to be good. I think the portion of. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I think the port, like the ratio of mint to biscuit and chocolate, you're about to get stabbed. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm getting more chocolate? No, I think you're getting more mint okay. than you're used to. Oh, you can smell already. I'd say it's a bit, because it's not thin, as thin as the thin, mint, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. You might be thinking, of the, I think, maybe I'm wrong, the Girl Scout thin mints, I think are a little bit thicker than the cheap ones we buy. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, go for it. Mm. Do your thing. You like it? See, I always fuck. Now, if you take a bite, you show the camera how much mint you're getting since you know, mine's yeah. all gone. So, yeah, that's your mint to biscuit ratio. They're good. That's they? really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum. I think, honestly, the my favorite Arnott's biscuits. Keep talking. <laughs> no. Hey all. It hurt, it's, it hurts my people. <laughs> I'll fight you. Um, um, so, next one we have Shapes, which is another one that everyone should like. There's no reason you shouldn't like these. <laughs> this is the barbecue flavor. So they're oven baked, not fried. They come with a bunch of different warp flavors. They also have some Australia shaped shapes that are, I'm pretty sure they're Vegemite flavor. No. Why would they do that? <laughs> you have these wonderful things and you throw Vegemite in them. What's wrong with you people? Vegemite's great. You just don't know how to eat it properly. That's the thing. You don't. You don't get a spoonful of Vegemite and just like Nutella. You don't do that. You've got to I have it specific it. ways. That was first time he tried it was when I was living in Dubai. And um, so he had to have it just on toast with butter. And it wasn't so bad. No one's so bad. didn't hate it. Dive in, babe. Oh. You can make the flavor go everywhere. I don't think anybody tips shapes like that. I think you meant to just go in like this, because then all that flavour sticks at the bottom and you eat it afterwards. You can see the flavour. The flavour? The flavour. No, these are excellent. Oh. I don't think you have anything here that are like shapes, do you? Not that bad. Oh, all the way up to two on the health rating. <laughs> Not bad. It could be better. What about? <laughs> I like Cheez-Its, but that's probably the same kind of snack. You right there? Yeah, I'm good. That's mess. like, as far as like snack category, I would say Cheez-Its are the same snack category, but flavor-wise, I wouldn't put them in the same. No. Oh my god. That's staying in. <laughs> I mean, it came out, but it's staying in. No way. Yeah, away. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, those are good. I'm like, <clears throat> I'm on a flavor high right now. This is great. This is good. We're not oh. done. What's next? It's next love. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know what you call that stuff here. What? What stuff? The jelly... Lollies? No, we don't use the term lollies. Mm. A lolly would be like, we would think lolly Soft top. candy? Yeah, soft. Well, those. Like the little... Soft candy. Jellies? 
Gummies? Gummies, that's what I'm looking for. I've had some gummies, so we'll see if this is that much different than the other gummies I've had lately. Like. No artificial colors with you. Aggressive. Snakes alive because Australia. For everything's gonna... trying to kill ya. Need more wine. Oh, they have different um, colors all down them. I think I'll try to get killer pies this next time. Ooh, I'm also going to show you some licorice that I found here in the States at a TJ Maxx. So this is what you found at TJ Maxx? Oh, yeah. Found those at TJ Maxx. Lucky country. Everyone loves to sale. Look at that. What a bargain. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> yeah. That lag it is a killer. Soft licorice is a big thing in Australia. Yeah. And size and so good. A little squeeze for the softness. Mm -hmm. Can I have a piece, please? I can eat two things at once. It's real good. And I ordered, there's a green apple flavor. I ordered a packet of those. So we'll try those as well. I'm eating so fast and I'm running out of breath. <laughs> All snacked out? Mm. No. I've already had it. It's not a snack. You've also already had Tim Tones. We're gonna do that on camera. That's not a snack. My question is, when did you stop loving me? When you brought that Vegemite into this. <laughs> okay. Vegemite's not a snack. Like these are like those little snacks. You don't just pick this up like that. You open the bag. It Look. is a hold on. It is a standalone snack. You open it. You have your little snack. You close the bag. You go on. This is not a standalone snack. This requires preparation. It's almost an ingredient. Look, if you want to one day become a permanent resident slash citizen in Australia, you're gonna have to toughen up. And you're gonna have to be able to squeeze a little bit on this finger and just yeah. just do it. If you love me, do you love me? Oh, I could use that line. <laughs> you're gonna make toast, or what are you gonna do? Just a little, little squeeze on the finger. Oh, why? Oh, that's good shit. <laughs> it looks like. Oh, what do you mean? I'm sure everybody is very familiar with Vegemite. This is, usually would come in a jar. This is a nice little squeezy bottle. Basically, what do they say here? Yuck. <laughs> no. So it's actually really good for you. It's got B vitamins for vitality, right? So it's got B1 for brain function. got gummy vitamins in there. They're good for me too, but they taste good. So, B1 for brain function, B2 for your nervous system, B3 for energy release, folate helps fight fatigue. Oh. I'm going to go into it because a lot of people don't know what's in it. They look at the color and they're like, what the heck? It's not chocolate. Just, oh, that's just, for damn just, certain. Just, just, it's not. It's very salty. Um, so the ingredients are yeast extract from yeast grown on barley and wheat, salt, mineral salt, malt extract from barley, and then a bunch of other, like, whatever. Um, it has a best best before date. Vegemite technically doesn't really have an expiry date because this stuff literally lasts forever. It would outlast cockroaches. Oh, it's a butthole. <laughs> Is it a mirror? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, You're very proud of yourself at that moment. <laughs> Look. I know, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little poopoo valve. <laughs> Go watch some Carl Baron. That'll uh, you'll know what this is. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, it's great. Okay, are you ready? Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> God. Wait. This doesn't oh. count, it's not a snack. Ready? Sniff. No. Sniff. Tell people what you smell. <laughs> <laughs> is that what happens when you only got two black? <laughs> Saltish. Very salty. <laughs> I 
No. I think it's one of those things you have to grow up with. <laughs> it's so delicious. <laughs> Salty. Yeah, that's the word that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, your favorite. Hold on, we'll get there. Best of them all. Oh, absolutely. Tim Tams. Yeah, they're great. I eat way too many of these for no longer than they've than I've known about them. Mm hmm Tim's hand. Mmm. Mmm. It's just delicious. No, these are the best. It's come to my attention that Trader Joe's have a knockoff Tim Tam type thing, and they're even marketing it as an Australian style. Um, cake biscuit, I think it is. I can't remember what they what they call it. And they're meant to be like Tim Tams. Now there's an article that I read about it because there's like a cult following for Tim Tams because they're the best. It literally says on the packet, there is no substitute for Tim Tams. I'm I'm curious to try these. My friend that's in Arizona, she bought two packets. She's posted me one packet, and we're going to do a taste <clears throat> test together virtually. So Trader Joe's launches their version of Tim Tams. And Mash says, these new cookies at Trader Joe's are just like Tim Tams. Oh. These are both, <clears throat> both of these articles are less that. than two weeks old. You score the items out of 10. Uh, let's see. Well, so we know the obvious one. Yeah, solid 10. That's absolute 10. Still getting like a nine. These okay. Are, these are pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm going to put the flag next to that because that thing's like a 0.5. I'll do it. Rude. Snake life. I guess I'd compare them to like for jellies. What do I call them? Oh, I would just say lollies, but yeah, no, I guess I gummies. Go. Gummies. Yeah, nine. These are really good. Good. It's like an eight. Okay. For candy bars. Um, seven or an eight. Like, I don't know if I would get it every time I went out, but it's something I would get once in a while. So many chips. I'm not big on salt and vinegar. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like a three for me. Okay, but compared, I just don't like the flavor myself. what about compared to other salt and chips that you've had better. here? Yeah, I'd right. say they're better, but still not my thing. Okay, that's fair. Cheezles, solid. That's like an eight for those little, you know, road trip snacky things you grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like any time. Mm -hmm. um, shapes, <clears throat> it's definitely like an eight or a nine. I need to try some other flavor because I think I've had barbecue every time. But, you not have pizza? I thought you had pizza. Oh, pizza sounds good right now. Uh, and then the burger rings. This is three times healthier than the Tim Tam, according to the little scale. <laughs> but no, these are awesome. I would, I'd get these anytime. Eight or a nine. Yeah. Okay. Flake? Low. I'm not really on flake. Okay. Which, I like Cadbury's products. I like the chocolate. I just don't big one for that. What about the fantails? Not the chewiness. Think about softer. They're softer. Flavor. Good flavor. Yeah, I like those. Same. I want them softer. Just difficult to eat. Yeah. I get that. These are, that's probably, uh, I'm not... Like I like liquor, black licorice is trash. No, I'm the same. Uh, so licorice? much better than Twizzlers. Oh. So much better. S yeah. Well, good. Okay, thanks, babe. Good job, babe. Love you.